Hi everyone, how are you today? It's a beautiful day. Behind me you see a picture of the sailboat that we went on yesterday. It was so much fun. We don't get to do it very often, but when we do, it's really a treat. So I'm Carrie Ellis, author of 21st Century Superhuman. This is a 21st Century Superhuman live show. And today we are going to talk about healthy hair and magic coffee. Yay, magic coffee. I have talked about this before. Um, what I want to say, first of all, about the picture behind me and the the beautiful sky and the sail of the sailboat is what are you doing for yourself? I know it's getting to be the end of summer in the Northern Hemisphere. I hope that you're maybe going on an adventure with yourself, with your family, finding a way to really delight in the magic of life, in who you are. And are you connecting with who you are? Because there's a lot of, I might call it that um, in the Hathors, which we did a show with a few weeks ago, they talk about this being a chaotic node and a chaotic mo node means many timelines are conjuncting and where these timelines are coming together we have choices to make and the best way to make good choices for ourselves for humanity for how things move forward on planet earth is to center in our heart our mind our spirit, the greater soul that we are, the greater being that we are, and to know above all else what is harmonious for us, what is harmonious for our family. Speaking of harmonious, just last week, I finally finished it, took me several weeks to get it done, a 50-minute video on how to make Ormus Organite nano-coated copper health pens and these things called cloud busters which are a larger organite these are kind of craft items that you can do in your area but they're very powerful future science and i invite you um, that video is on my timeline i'm blocked right now from sharing on facebook they say that i'm break the community standards so um, i'm one of those people who's getting censored if you have a chance, if you like anything that I do and you have a chance to share it, please do because that helps get the word out. You can also learn more at our website, which is called 21stCenturySuperhuman.com. All of these shows, which I'm doing here on Facebook, will also end up on my YouTube channel, which is the 21st Century Superhuman YouTube channel. So look for our material. This is everything that I'm doing is educational. It is about how to live in these times of great change and how to be, how to create change by getting focused within ourselves, by breathing smiling and centering in love, centering in the highest aspects of our being. And by so doing, we change ourselves. We literally change our neuro neurobiology and this changes the world around us. So in the last few weeks, I have talked about healthy hair and I've said, I'm gonna share with you how to get healthy hair. I think I have pretty healthy hair. Hi, Michelle, good to see you. Love you, sister. Thank you for checking in. So to get healthy hair, one of the things that we're looking at right now is how the entire world has been managed by corporations. These big conglomerate corporations have been harvesting money off of humanity chronically and making us work really hard in order to have our lives when really we should be free, beautiful beings on this beautiful planet Earth. I know it's like a big shift to even understand that. To understand that is like, wow, something about how our world has been running is not quite right. Well, there's ways that we can change this. And one of them, I call it, does the corporation have the big IV in your arm? Are they taking money from you every week, every month? And when I say the corporation, I mean that in general, but there's literally 147 corporations that run the world. They run the governments. They actually hold us as chattel. We are our, our, the numbers on our birth certificates. We're traded on the stock exchange. But again, that's a whole different story than we wanna get into today. But the whole idea of 
advertising, advertising on TV and all these different places and how to look beautiful. You know, we have to conform to a certain look in order to fit in, in order to look what's considered attractive. Hollywood, which is coming right down, down right now because of um, knowledge of pedophilia and many problems under the surface there. Um, we are gonna, we're going through some really, really great changes. So these, these concepts of, oh, you must have certain makeup on, you must have your hair a certain style. For men, you must have your hair a certain style, and then you'll be considered attractive or beautiful. Well, we want to grow beyond that because we really are naturally beautiful. There's so much natural beauty in us, and it's just a matter of adjusting to that, reclaiming it, so for about, when I was about 10, I said, why am I using soap on my skin? It just dries my skin out. And I actually quit using soap. And then when I was 18, I became a vegetarian, which meant I didn't have as heavy a grease in my, in my body, in my hair, on my skin. Hi, Karen. Good to see you today. Big hugs to you. So as we clean out our body, our hair and our skin need less detergent-like products to clean them. And when we think of, oh, I must have a shampoo, I must have a conditioner, you know, I did this my whole life. I, when I was a kid, we only had one shampoo. It was Prell shampoo. I don't even know if that stuff is still around, but at once a week, we'd wash our hair with this shampoo. And then when I got to be a teenager, I started using conditioners and gels and blow drying my hair. It took me until really maybe 10 years ago to realize I had just have really naturally curly hair because I spent my whole life blow drying my hair trying to fit into the culture. How many of us do that? How many of us change ourselves to conform to the culture? Well, it's time to wake up to our own inner beauty and our own outer beauty. And the more we cleanse and detox, we eat healthy foods. I eat mostly fruits, vegetables, a little bit of whole grains, a little bit of quinoa, a little bit of amaranth, the sort of unusual ones. And we eat a little bit of beans. And then as we're cleaning our bodies out constantly, and I use things like blue-green algae, we make a shake every morning with flaxseed and chia seed. We'll talk about that one of these days. But as we clean our bodies out, our skin and our hair become more vitally alive because the, t the cells and the tissues are clean and circulation can flow. So how do we get off of that IV of the shampoo, conditioner, with perfumes that our body really doesn't need to have on it constantly, every day, every week, every hour. Um, so I was writing, about five years ago, I decided to quit using shampoo. And because I had read a book, it was a, I think it was a book called Be Curly or something like that, and it was about naturally curly hair. And, but when I quit using shampoo, it took a while for my hair to adjust. And after a few weeks, my hair started, I would just rinse it in the shower, just scrub it with my fingers. Sometimes I'd use a little um, vinegar water. These days we still keep in our shower a bottle of water with a few tablespoons of natural vinegar in it and a few drops of essential oil. We shake that up because the hair and the skin are designed to be naturally acidic. Even though the inside of our body we want to be alkaline, the outside of our body we want to be acidic. So we just shake that bottle on our hair. It's got a little hole cut in the top of water with a little vinegar in it and a few essential oils and just kind of scrub our, our hair with that when we're in the shower. Um, but when I quit using shampoo and my hair started adjusting and I began using the vinegar water with a little bit of essential oils, when I met my husband, he'd been using baking soda and vinegar, kind of two opposites in the hair. But baking soda is alkaline and vinegar is acidic. So we really want the hair to end up being acidic when we're done cleaning it, however we do this. So I was riding on a bus about four years ago in Costa Rica, and this girl had this long, beautiful, dark hair with big curls and just gorgeous. And I said to her, wow, in my broken Spanish, you really have beautiful hair. And she said, yes, 
I put the gel of linasa or flaxseed in my hair regularly, and all of the women here do. And this is how we keep beautiful hair. So at that time, I began to do this. And it's one of my tips, one of my beauty secrets that I just absolutely love. And um, so I'm going to hold this up, see if I can hold it up here. There is about um, four tablespoons or a quarter cup of linasa or flaxseed. You can use either golden flaxseed or brown. And so that's whole flaxseed. You should be able to get it at a health food store anywhere. Now I take this and I put it in two, about two cups of water in a pan on the stove and I simmer it. I bring it to a boil and let it kind of simmer for 10 minutes, 10 minutes max. It'll kind of, if you leave it up too high, it'll swell up in the pan but this beautiful gel gets extracted from it. I, I wanna try just soaking it overnight and straining it and keeping it raw. I haven't done that yet because this works so well. So I just heat it for 10 minutes on the stove and then I strain it. And then what I end up with is a beautiful bottle of gel that looks like this. And it's pretty thick. And this smells fantastic. What I do is I add some essential oils to it. So in mine, I add rosemary oil because rosemary oil is good for the brain. And I add peppermint oil because it's good for the follicles of the hair. So I add just a few drops of each of those. And so it will smell like those essential oils. I keep it in the refrigerator. And when I take a shower or go swimming, I always put some of this on my hair afterwards. And it's kind of a little bit gel-like. Um, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it here. On, on our, um, our, our private classes, we'll be doing some videos on this a little more in detail, but this is just to give you an idea. So basically I put it on my hair and guess what else? I put it on my face and I put it on my neck and I even put it on my arms. It's very nourishing to the skin and to the hair. It makes it vital and healthy. and. I just let it dry in my hair. I let my hair air dry. I don't blow dry it. I suppose you could blow dry it, but it, you end up with just, it gives your hair a little bit of body and it is nourishing the hair the whole time. So this is what I do in place of shampoo and conditioner. Really at this point, I don't even like using shampoo anymore. I mean, I used to in my transitional time, because I thought, oh, I've got to use shampoo on my hair, I would use it once a month or something like that. But then my hair would feel all dried out for about three days. And I finally just kind of quit using shampoo at all. And because my hair is curly and it naturally wants to dread, it naturally wants to kind of lock together, about once every two months, I'll take a pick and a little bit of dilute, really natural conditioner. And I'll put it in my hair and I pick it out with the pick and so that all of the little knots come out of it. But I don't brush my hair, I don't comb my hair, I use linasa gel in it and with essential oils. And before I use the linasa gel, I might rinse with a little bit of that water with vinegar and essential oils in it. So those are my secrets, those are my tips. It is magical, magical, magical hair care. And I hope some of you will begin to, to experiment with this because you can have really beautiful hair. And um, a friend of mine and I also said at one point, we said, you know, we can mess our hair up ourselves without having, you know, somebody cut our hair for us. And so I began just cutting my hair myself. I just turn it upside down. If I want to trim it, I just trim along the bottom edge, snip kind of into it. Um, I have little tricks that I do, but I've kind of just taught myself that over the years as well. I do actually highlight it a little bit, which is mean pull a little color out of a few of the hairs because I like that lightness in there. And um, I have a lady who does that for me and I do it about once every four months. So it's not very often. So anyway, those are my hair tricks. And let's just talk one quick second about magic coffee because I'm drinking magic coffee. I know that I went for years without drinking coffee. I mean like 30 years. And then I lived with a guy who drank coffee and I kind of got, got into it again and I like it, but I also know it makes me acidic and I don't like being acidic. I don't drink it every day. I drink it when I have the feeling for a cup of coffee, but you could actually take these ingredients to a coffee shop. So I actually make organic decaf, which I'm able to get here. Um, I just make it in a French press. So I boil the water, 
our plasma water. So I'm making the coffee with plasma water. And it's still August 30th. If you wanted to get a plasma water station like I have at 20% off, you could go to plasmaenergysolution.com and order the basic preparedness kit, which is the water station I have. And in the little note, ask for the 16 glass vials, which she only has a few of those left, and put in carry for your coupon. So if you wanted a water station like I have, and I have videos out on this and I talk about it all the time. So, um, so anyway, I make my coffee, first of all, with plasma water. So I'm making it with high frequency water, which will change the frequency of everything that I'm doing. So I make that organic decaf and then I make a sunflower seed milk. And we'll go over that some other day. I'm not going to get into that today, but it's so delicious. But you could use an alternative to cow's milk. You know, we're not really designed to drink cow's milk. And no mammal is designed to drink milk really after we are weaned. But we've gotten sort of addicted to the drinking cow milk culture. So if you can wean yourself off of that, again, it's another heavier fat and um, a denser food in the body creates <coughs> congestion and phlegm and all that kind of thing. So making sunflower flour milk, you could use almond milk, coconut milk. And so what I do is in the bottom of my cup, I put a little bit of honey and a half a teaspoon of baking soda. So about a tablespoon or a tablespoon and a half of honey we get really good organic jungle honey down here and a half a teaspoon of baking soda, quarter teaspoon to a half. Why do I do that? People ask me all the time, why the baking soda? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? I'll recommend Robert O. Young's um, pH miracle book, which is fantastic. We test our pH regularly. There's a pH paper called Hyaluron that you can get for about $8 from Amazon. And we just test our morning pee and you want to be between 7.2 and 7.4. So using the baking soda can help with that. Also, cancer cells or any unhealthy cell in the body, any cell that has dis-ease wants sugar. And so it will want to pull, the cells that are not completely healthy will want to pull in the, the honey, the sweetener. And but when the baking soda goes in there with it, and a, an Italian oncologist named Simon Cini actually developed this therapy, the, it, it is acting like a Trojan horse. The honey is like a Trojan horse. It's carrying the baking soda in, and the cell becomes alkaline because the baking soda is going in there with it. So when I use honey or miel in Spanish, we always add a little baking soda with it, and that helps... Um, act like a Trojan horse in the body and go into any cells which are not 100% happy and help start changing their ecology. So in my coffee, and you could take these again to the coffee shop with you, um, just carry a little bag of baking soda around with you. So baking soda and a little honey, and I like putting canela or cinnamon in mine because the cinnamon acts as a blood sugar modulator and it will help create a healthier blood sugar mechanism, which we want to do if we go in these ups and downs or struggle with our weight, the canela will help keep that in a really lower balance. So a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of baking soda, and remember a little bit is a lot. It, um, if, if a little is good, more is not better. Remember we have this old philosophy, like I think especially in the United States, it's like, more is better. But if we just stay with a modest amount, it can be a pinch of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon. You don't want to overdo it. And I put about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon in my in, in a cup of coffee like this. So cinnamon, baking soda, and honey. And then I add the coffee so it's hot in there. And then I add like a good third of a cup even of the, um, the seed milk the alternative milk, which could be like almond milk, coconut milk, or I'll teach you one of these days how to make sunflower seed milk. It has sunflower seeds, sesame seeds, and pumpkin seeds in it, because then that's a protein. It's kind of like I'm getting a protein shake with my coffee, a vegan protein shake. So anyway, that's it. Hey, I wanted to share these things with you today. I hope that you will choose to live a healthier, happier life, and you can follow us. Be sure to 
right now with all the censoring going on, I'm looking at what channels are open that I can keep sharing through. Facebook Lives are one and they seem to get out to a pretty good audience. If I try and share myself, I just get told by Facebook, you don't meet our community standards, you can't share here. Um, and I'm sure that will come off in, I don't know, a week or two, I'm not sure how long. I'm not sure how long I'm in what they call Facebook jail. Um, but I guess I should be honored that at least I'm sharing enough things that are shifting consciousness that they wanna do that. So anyway, we're looking at other mechanisms. I do have a 21st century superhuman telegram group and it is, it's actually a channel. So it means I'm posting things there, but I'm gonna also open a group as part of that. And it's called the at sign, breathe, smile, love. Breathe, smile and love. Or you can look up 21st century superhuman in telegram. Telegram is an app for both the phone and the computer. Uh, it's a little more private. I'm also in Parlor. I think I'm at Kira Star in Parlor. I'm also in Instagram. It, that should be Instagram forward slash Carrie Kira Star. And I put a lot of recipes in Instagram. It's a good place to kind of, I also put um, most of these videos there as well. So in our YouTube channel, um, you can always subscribe to that and click the bell. And we're working on getting out on more platforms. Because of the censoring, we wanna have a broader reach and have ways that you can get our educational materials. Okay, love you all so much. Remember, breathe, smile, and love. For by so doing, we change our neuro neurobiology, we change ourselves, and by changing ourselves, we change the world. Have an awesome day, and I shall see you all soon. Ciao.